When it comes to nitric oxide, there are many different types. What do you prefer when purchasing the nitric oxide? So this is great. So I am getting educated on nitric oxide more and more every day. So I am, I'm pretty much to the point now where I consider myself to be a nitric oxide expert because I have submerged myself into this space because I am convinced that nitric oxide is a vascular fountain of youth. It is going to help us all reverse aging so that when we're, you know, in our 60s, in our 50s, in our 70s, and even in your, your 80s and your 40s, and you want to turn back time on the blood vessels, that nitric oxide production can help us do that. So when you're looking for a nitric oxide booster, one thing I really advocate for, if you are over the age of 40, I do not think that you need to, to focus on high levels of arginine right? So arginine can help support a pathway of nitric oxide production. But unfortunately, if your body does not have the NOS, the nitric oxide synthase enzyme present and working, then L-arginine can actually start to pile up in your body and create more problems than help, right? So I think if you're over the age of 40, you want to make sure that your nitric oxide supplement does not have L-arginine in it, to be honest. Now, L-citrulline is a better one than L-arginine because L-citrulline is actually going to get used, most of it, L-arginine can potentially not get used. So that's one thing. Another thing I think that it's important to think about is who's making the supplement. Is this a trusted company? Is this someone that's just thrown together a supplement and you don't see any evidence that they really are researching nitric oxide or that they've measured the levels of nitrates in their product or anything like that? Another thing I think is to, that's important to keep in, in mind is I like nitrite and nitrate-based supplements. Because our body can use, particularly I enjoy nitrates, because particularly our bodies can use the nitrates the same way it uses the smoothie recipes. What, what they're doing is they're concentrating the nitrates into a capsule instead of, you know, us using a smoothie to do it. And what nitrates actually have been shown to do is they have been shown to improve heart function. Nitrates have been shown to improve gut function so that your processes can work better. So I feel as though in when I'm recommending a substance to help boost nitric oxide, I lean more to a nitrate-based formula. Second choice would be a nitrite-based formula. And if you look in the link below, um, you'll see my preferred nitric oxide boosting strategy. It's actually the one that I, I take. It's the one that my family members take. And I, I believe in it strong enough that, I'm, that I take it and that I actually, we sell it because it, it, I feel like it makes all the difference in the world for a lot of people. Because as we age, our nitrate, our, our nitric oxide production, by the time we're in our 40s and 50s, we are making about half of the nitric oxide that we were making in our 20s. And there are some scientists that will argue you up and down that that is ultimately why aging, you know how we're like, ooh, I'm getting old, ooh, my back hurts, ooh, my blood pressure's up, ooh, I'm getting old, I'm getting old, blah, blah, blah. right? They will argue you up and down that that piece of aging, which is making everybody fall apart as they age, is really tied to nitric oxide production. And I am right on the cusp of 100% being there too. I feel like nitric oxide production, as we age going down, it makes us, all of a sudden we look up, you've got high blood pressure. Where did that come from? You might look up and now you got diabetes. Now you look up and your immune system is messed up. So in order to help set those things back on balance and start to repair those processes, I really do believe that boosting nitric oxide production is a huge part of that. And I also know I have a question here where I was asked, what is the best time of day to take your nitric oxide? So remember, you're not taking nitric oxide. You're taking a supplement that's helping your body make more nitric oxide. So I want to be clear about that. There's no such thing as actually taking nitric oxide. You can take the nitrates or the nitrites that are then used to, by your body to make more nitric oxide. 
I advocate for people to take their nitric oxide boosting supplement in the morning. And you want to take it most of the time with food or after food, because you can, you know, it can make you a little nauseous here and there. Um, and then honestly, you know, you want to consult your doctor, but what I have is people take one or two capsules in the morning. And then if they know they're going to have sex later, or they want to get into it, then they might take one or two, one to two capsules later, right before sex, because nitrates have the innate ability to almost immediately in your body be used for the conversion of nitric oxide. The problem with nitric oxide is your body can start making it and storing it, but it uses it up very quickly. So you want to keep your body stimulated to make more. And the reason our ability to make it lessens as time goes by is that our blood vessels actually get to the point where they stop making or stop being able to use that nitric oxide synthase, which is abbreviated NOS, that is important to making nitric oxide. So what do nitrates do? They actually help repair your body's ability to make more nitric oxide, and they actually provide the substrate or like the precursor of nitric oxide so that your body can convert it and use it. Bam. I take beetroot and nitric oxide support, but not all the time. Listen, I'm a fan of that. I can't think of anything that I take all the time, right? Because anything in excess could potentially throw things off, right? If you drank too much water today, if you drink three gallons of water, you might be in the hospital tomorrow. But water's so good for you. Yeah, but not if you drink a three gallons of it, right? Because you can wash out the electrolytes and, and become nutrient depleted and end up dropping dead from overhydration, right? So everything in moderation, I think is right. And particularly when it comes to supplements, I always tell my, my guys to go ahead and take it for three to four months, then take a, take a two week holiday, sometimes even a four week holiday, and then start back with your supplements. Because now your body's not getting used to it. You know, it's used it and then it's forgetting about it. And then when it comes back, it's like, oh yeah, we love that stuff. We love it, bring it. Instead of just being like, oh, um, here comes that stuff again, trying to trick us, trying to make us work better and eh, forget it, right? So you give yourself a little bit of a holiday from it so that because your body thrives off of variety. It, it thrives off of not doing the same thing every day. That's how you can have these people. We all know them, right? It, it, in my case, it's mostly women I see do this. And in your case, it may be men or women or both. Well, we'll do this. We'll, you'll see them. They'll be on that treadmill. They'll be doing that you know, everybody's sweating. And then you'll look at them and be like, gee, for all that exercise, seems like they would be smaller or would have lost weight. This may even be you, right? Well, part of the problem is that they get to the gym and do the exact same thing every time. The exact same thing. You know, they're riding on the treadmill, then they go lift weights and they keep that same cycle, that same cycle that's not working. And what, ha what, what happens is if you take that same person and you change their routine so that they're doing something regularly different, what they're doing is now they're, you're stimulating um, you, you, the, the fact that our body, our DNA, our cells like variety, right? We all like variety. You eat the same damn thing every day. Even if you loved it in the beginning, it gets old. That's why we got to spice up everything. You got to spice up your food routine. You got to spice up your exercise routine. And you got to spice up your sex routine. Otherwise, you get bored. Your body gets bored. It stops responding. Everything stops responding if it's just boop, 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 same thing, right?